Hello everyone, welcome to another TF2 commentary. And today, I want to talk about what I think is the worst melee power weapon there is. Why I think it's bad, and what I think Valve could do to make it better. So, as we all know, the third degree is probably the most hated weapon for the power because it's just bad, useless, and it's just a straight upgrade, which is wrong in a balanced game. So, my thoughts on this weapon, first of all, is absolute shit. The upside of the only stat on it that is being able to hit everyone in a medical, in a medic beam line. So, if you hit a heavy that is being killed by a medic, you hit the head, the medic as well, or vice versa. Simply, it's not useful. I know Pyro is good for ambush and flanking and stuff. But no power is gonna do that. No way a power is actually gonna go up to a heavy or anyone that's being healed by a medic and melee them to death. And there's no way that a power that's getting a flank is gonna be using his melee. It's probably gonna use back burner or flog. What is this? Oh, yeah, thanks a lot, Fuck, I, I I appreciate you interrupting my video. It's just bad in every way possible no power is actually going to use that to melee an enemy so what i think could be done for this weapon is one out two things one just remove all stats just make a risking of stock it'd be nice and second as you all know the third degree is part of the flock collection along with the main melter and obviously the flow gestinator and all both those weapons has something with stored crits, so I thought of something that has something to do with crits as well. So what I came up with is, on melee kill you're granted 8 seconds of crits, and you get mini crits against web players, but the downsides are 10% less wing speed and 25% less damage penalty. Now the reason why I say on melee kill your green 8 second of crits is it cause a reserved crits like the flock or the main melter is not just one only melee weapon and no part is crazy enough to go behind the enemy lines with death, those crits they obviously are gonna use the flog or the back burner again and the mini crits against web players that is because it's an electronic weapon so I think that'd be fair and I say mid crits because the Neo Annihilator is, is unique in its own style. So to not copy the Neo Annihilator, I see mid crit. So people don't don't consider it the new Neo Annihilator, you know? I say minus 10 weak speed because you can you can spam this a lot. So to avoid that as much, you get this wing speed penalty. And the 25% damage penalty is for two reasons one so you don't kill anyone with one hit and two because otherwise it'd be just a downgrade of Neon Annihilator because the Neon Annihilator causes 158 damage against web players meanwhile this will cause about uh, with a mini crit it will cause 66 damage so it will not copy the Neon Annihilator and question of damage and normal damage it would just cause 48 damage or 49 and if full, full crit damage it will cause 146 it's less than the neon annihilator you can cause way more damage with neon than with the third degree with this concept but the idea of it is just kind of a backup for the power in case anything he has to pull out his melee because the flog your ammo goes to shit and the man alter is not very, uh, let's say, reliable. So in case you have to go into a melee fight, you can pull it out, get the crit, and then at least survive the situation. And since it causes less damage, it cannot be spammed into hell, you know? But I think it'd be good at least have these stats, not just because I think they are the best, because I must say probably someone has something better, but because that. The third degree is so bad, just 
horrible at this current state. I just so you know, all the footage I'm showing right now of me playing TF2, none of it has a third degree. I can't even begin to use it because right now it's just fucking useless. I think this stat will be able, to, will be a good backup for the pyro and a reliable. Do I think it's better than the back scratcher or neon or any of other big pyro weapons? No, obviously not, but I think these stats will be at least reliable and will be good. I'll, even on medieval mode, it will be good. So I'll be in the video here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, always, and please subscribe. So I'll see you in the next CF2 commentary. Bye!